In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I like to defend the iForm Close in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Now if you're new to the channel and you don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about becoming a better Madden player and if you want to become a better Madden player alongside of me I would highly encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right hand corner of your screen my channel brings daily videos that kind of share what I'm learning and how I'm kind of processing through both defense and offensive schemes that are going to help you be more effective we study pro players we obviously lab a ton and we learn from our subscribers as well so if if you guys are interested, I would highly encourage you to join my text message membership. It's a completely free thing that I've been doing, and it's basically just a way for me to be able to connect with you guys on a more personal level. My cell phone number is in the top left-hand corner of your screen. It's 812 216 three six four four and just hit me up it, it literally is my personal cell phone number so just text me anytime um, and let me know you know what you guys how, how you're playing what what schemes you're looking at but the other thing I wanted to let you know is one of the things that we're doing for people who text in is every single week we are releasing a free um, video that is about an hour long that shares with you some type of scheme so we're, we're down some of the schemes that we're going to be breaking down coming up are the 335 normal the big or the the nickel normal the four uh the three four bear the uh for, or, uh the i form close the the tight offset tight end out of the saints book um, and, and several others. I think we're going to maybe even do another gun bunch segment. So, so what we've, we, there's scheme, full schemes that you get every single week. These are schemes that you see pro players run, streamers run, you, you see on YouTube, but you might not know exactly how they do it. We put it all together for you in a one hour video every single week. So, if you want to get that, that's completely free to you. A lot of people say that's better than a lot of ebooks that they've gotten over the course of this year. So, it's a very, very, you know, good opportunity for you to be able to learn and grow. So, if you want to be a part of that, just text me. All you you gotta do is just pull out your phone right now and, and send me a text message. Now, anyways, we're gonna dive into the I form close today. Uh, I form close is a very tough formation to defend, in my opinion, um, just because of the multiplicity of things that it can do. Uh, the first thing that I want to do is I want to cover with you how to stop the runs uh, that I form close can offer, and then we'll start, and then we'll talk a little bit about the pass. Uh, but I form close definitely does have a lot to offer, in my opinion. Now, the first thing that I want you to know is whenever I defend a compression set recently, I've actually been consistently running a base line alignment the reason why is because it makes the zones play a lot better in my personal opinion and they really do take away very spot specific spots on the field now, you don't have to base align I'm just telling you for me um, that's what I'm kind of testing out right now so anyways um, the play we're gonna be utilizing to stop the run is the is the cover for show two uh, we might also use some man-to-man -man coverage if we need to but primarily I'm gonna base it out of the cover for show two now this is an excerpt from my three 35 wide defensive ebook which you can pick that up in the description of this video it's just 15 bucks and the full ebook is available and we show you how to literally stop every run and every passing concept in the game all right so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna shift your defensive line to the side of strength so in this example it's gonna be to the tight end side so we're gonna shift them to the right and we're gonna crash the defensive line out obviously if the formation was flipped we would shift them to the left and crash the line out from there, we're just gonna drag these safeties over the tackles. I really think that this helps a lot in the run D. Um, I don't know how to even see my run fit, honestly. I, I can't remember how to do it. But basically, the safeties are in the run fit because we're in a cover four defense. From there, I like to put both of my outside corners into quarter flat zones, okay? Or not quarter flat zones, uh, cloud flat zones. The reason why is this is going to help a ton with the pass coverage um, that we're going to be going over in just a second. Both linebackers will almost always go into a purple zone. And then that slot, um, that slot corner, you could do a lot with him, man. You you could you could cross, you could, you could man him up, you could put him in a vertical hook. He's kind of the guy that you can do whatever you want with, okay? Uh, and then that's it. That's pretty much the defense. Now, the snap of the ball, if it's power O, um, if it's an out, if it's power O, or even if it's stretch, you're going to see that I'm going to run in between the guard and the tackle. If it's dive, I'm going to run in between the guard and the center. So that's just kind of the, the, the way that I do this. So again, okay, I'm going to run right. And as you see, we're able to kind of hang uh, with that running play. 
Let me show you that one more time. And, and normally what's going to happen here, again, if we get these guys down into the box, they will actually help with the run D, especially, um, you know, especially if you pass commit. So, again, you'll see here, power row. And I don't know why the safeties are dropping. It might be because we're pass committing. Um, but... But anyway, the, the, the safeties will safety should come down on this. Uh, so we'll show this to you one more time. So again, just bring this down, drop those zones, and then voila, you should have pretty decent. There we go. That's more what we were looking for there. So the safeties come down on that. And of course, Aaron Jones just breaks every tackle known to man. Um, one of the things with iPhone Close, and, and maybe that's just a thing out of this, is you know maybe you have to not do that maybe maybe you're not allowed to base a line even though i really want to be able to base a line which is fine if you don't if you're not able to base a line you can just do it like this and as you see here i mean there we go it, with with the baseline i guess the baseline allows the, the wide receivers to get some advantages on their blocks so you know maybe it's one of those things where you just can't base a line against pro sets and that's fine um you know you just man align it uh and then you'll see here um now, now we're playing a lot better run defense. Um, as you can see, the quarter zone. See how, see how the quarter zones kind of fill the run. The the outside quarter zones fill the run. The adjustments are still the same. It's just the difference is now um, what you're going to see is these quarter zones will fill the running lanes. And again, I like to bring them down a little bit and just kind of pinch them in a little bit. Um, and here you'll see see how they come down. Now, right there, you know, you know, I'm having I'm having a little bit of a struggle with my user, um, but. But you're you're in the area to be able to stop these runs, okay? And the biggest thing is here, you know, again, power row. If you wanted to, you could come down in here and let the safety fill it. Um, if you you know if you wanted to do that as well. But anyway, that's that's a little bit about power row. Now, a, a, a way that if you really wanted to like lock up the run, you would go to cover two man. You would spy both your safeties, and then you would take that backside linebacker and man him up on the running back, as you see right here. This will kill power row, as you see right there. Um, you know, your, your shoot, that shoot that I'm telling you about in between the guard and the tackle is much, much, much more open when you run this defense. Um, so you can definitely, you know, if they're, you know, if you're, if you're needing to stop some of this, some of these runs, like if you're in fourth down or something and you need to stop the run, this is, this to me is your defense. As you see here, there's just nowhere for him to go as long as you do your job and shoot properly. Now, the next run that we're going to talk about is the, stretch um the stretch is not that great anymore okay um it's okay it's not great anymore so again um you're gonna stand right here and again remember our rule our rule is if they run outside we're gonna shoot here the reason why i like to shoot there is because it's a lot more safe um you're gonna find that it's a lot more conservative you know you don't want to try to shoot in the middle in my opinion um if you wanted to you could i mean like let me show you so stretch i could shoot right in here the problem is that center will oftentimes take me away as you can see and so that's why i personally um if i was shooting stretch out of this out of this then i'm just gonna sit right here snap of the ball okay we're just gonna kind of flow to the play as you see there the corners do a really good job of kind of filling against stretch now uh much better than they used to now what about like let's say they play make or the run to the weak side okay that's actually a really good thing we didn't cover that against power o yet either so we'll cover that against power o as well but if they shift it to the weak side here, or they like playmaker to the weak side, then you're just kind of coming over here and filling the lane. As you see right there, I just come over and, and fill my fill my responsibility. Now, one thing that you could do is let's say that they are doing that. Okay, let's say that they're doing that right there, and they're gonna go ahead and they're gonna run power O on you. I just want you to watch what I'm gonna do here. But basically, you can actually come right through the middle there and shoot it just like that if you wanted to as well. So those are two different ways you can stop power row um, on the back side. That's where I say, you know, if they run inside or to the left, then I'm gonna, that's when I'm gonna come in between uh, this center more than likely. Um, so like here, they're gonna run stretch left. I'm going right down in here. Um, stretch left, I think is actually fairly decent just because especially with the shift that I'm doing, I'm bringing most of my players onto the strong side. So that's just something that you need to be aware of. But again, you come down here, come down here, and then you can kind of sit like right in here. And if they stretch you left, you should be able to run just at that angle right there, just like power row, as you see, and we're able to block it up or lock it up. So that's another thing that you can do. Now, ISO, um, I think ISO is a little bit harder to stop, in my opinion, 
Um, that's where your safety's pinching them in. It's going to help a ton against ISO. So uh, what's, what's going to happen on ISO is remember, I'm going in between the guard and the center. So I'm going right in here. And as you see there, the safeties are going to fill the lanes. Okay. ISO is one of those runs, in my opinion, that if you need to blow it up, obviously, again, doing the spy trick with the man coverage will blow that up. But um, that's a very obviously a very aggressive run defense. Um, you know, so you would only want to use that in certain situations. But as you see here, if you could force him to have to go to the outside gaps, the safeties will fill them because they're in a quarters, um, they're in a cover four quarters alignment. The beauty of this uh, defense, in my opinion, is it doesn't kill you against the pass, even though they're even though you're technically in a cover two quarters type of look. Um, and so we'll show you that here. Just we'll, we'll, sh we'll show you that uh, real quick. I want to show you one last run play, um, and that is the toss. So if they run toss on you, um, again, you just bring these guys down, bring these guys down. And what you'll see is from a toss perspective, again, outside. So I'm just running outside. Um, and as you see there, you're going to get it for a five-yard loss pretty much every time. So that is the running plays from this offense. Now, really quick, I'm going to go ahead and correct myself a little bit on the coaching adjustment side. Um, we're going to put it on default, okay? I wish I could run base in line, but I think that with the way the run defense works, it's just not going to be, you know, not going to be an option. So that's okay. But one other thing I want to tell you really quickly again is if you want to get a free sample of this 335 wide defense that is available in my text message membership uh, and you can get that text message membership simply by texting me uh, my cell phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen um, so that you can be able to get access to that okay so uh, as far as the passing goes in my opinion I close has some good uh, some good passing uh, but not great passing okay and and, and that's what it, that's what it comes down to so we're gonna go over um, really two or three plays here a couple plays uh, we're gonna start with wide receiver out I think that's probably one of the I think people's favorite plays but again what we want to do defensively is we want to start with this look right here and we want to bring these guys down and then the biggest thing I want to be able to do is I want to be able to put these outside corners into cloud flats um, and the reason why I like to do that is because it's going to help a ton so again real quick if you're not a if you're not um, you know if you don't know the corners by name and everything how you do that is you double tap triangle to pick up your quarterback adjustments you're gonna hit the square icon for the outside left corner and you're gonna hit the circle icon for the outside right corner and then once you do that to put them in a cloud flat you're gonna hit down on the left joystick or down on the left d-pad and then from there I'm shifting my d-line to the right so I'm gonna hit L uh, or left on the d-pad and then flip the left joystick to the right as you see they're going to move and then from there i put both linebackers into seam flats um, so i double tap the uh, right on the d-pad and then i hit the uh, square linebacker and up on the left d-pad and then obviously uh, the other way around as well and as you see here this is kind of the base coverage that I want to be able to run. Now, if you look at the number one play that people, in my opinion, the number one play that people will be able to run um, is like a PA tight end leak type of play. Um, and so what I like to do out of this particular formation is I actually will typically take that slot corner and I'll man him up on the circle receiver, okay? Um, that's just what I like to do. And then I'll take the defensive end and put him on a three rep. Um, but again, wide receiver out, so here's how we're going to do the combination. We're going to put the circle receiver on a slant, and then we're just going to motion him to the left. And I just want you to kind of watch how this plays at the snap of the ball. And what you're going to notice here is that 10-yard curl flat zone will get out there against, or 10-yard seam flat will get out there relatively well against that zone right there. If you don't think that seam flats are the way to go with this offense, I can understand that. Um, you might want to put curl flats because curl flats will do a better job. Um, they will do a better job against flat routes. So flat routes, quick outs, things like that. Um, this this will do a little better job. So you see like right here, I could hit the tight end, but I can only hit the tight end for like five yards. And in a situation where I needed to clamp down on the tight end, you know, I might man that guy up on it. Um, you know, really there's not anything, honestly, on the right side, there's really not anything that's going to threaten you flat-wise other than, um, you know, other than that fullback. So you might run, you might want to man up on the fullback here, you know, and then just rely on your user for everything else, uh, which is another option that you could do as well defensively. Uh, you could man him up. Now you pretty much have everything taken away. Um, 
I would just suggest to you that if they motion, if they go through all the trouble of motioning someone over, uh, I would definitely man him up. But again, you're just, because you need to be able to go take the tight end. Um, if the tight end goes on a, a post route, you need to be able to take him out of the play, uh, in my opinion. Now, PA tight end leak really quickly. Uh, let's talk about that play. So PA tight end leak. Uh, I can, you see here I have that nice corner route to Tunyon that I can utilize. Um, this is another reason why I like to go ahead and put those cloud flats out there. Um, what you'll see is, again, you know, you're going to take that guy in man-to-man -man coverage uh, anywhere he goes. And then you've got the three wreck right there. You know, this defense is locked down against the pass. But what you'll notice here is this corner route to Tunyon, because you have that cloud flat out there, not going to be able to happen for him. And you're going to be able to take that away. Now, one last thing I did want to hit on is the play uh, Y post, because this once they start to notice that you're in a lot of cover two on them, um, you're going to notice that they're going to want to try to hit you deep. This is the whole purpose as to why we man up that circle receiver. So uh, you'll see something like this. You know, they're just going to try to hit you deep, right? That's just what it's going to come down to. So here they try to hit me deep. And as you can see, there's no way for them to do that, right? The man coverage on the motion out uh, streak is going to be able to take care of that uh, relatively easily uh, for your defense. So the beauty of this is who they can motion and who they can motion where. I think that makes a, a massive difference uh, in terms of this. Like, for example, if I tried to run this out and up play, um, you'll see that uh, that this out and up play, that, like on the left here, um, the zone is going to be able to just hang with them. As you see here, the inside quarter gets back on it, and, and, and obviously Nickerson can get back on that as well. So uh, that is a little bit about eye close. I think this is going to help a lot of people be able to deal with this offense. This offense is hard to stop, um, especially you know with the runs. But if you, you see how it all kind of works together here. I mean, the ability to bring these guys down in the box helps stop the run, and then you can easily set up your coverages uh, from that point point you know relatively easily and then bam you know you're able to you're able to stop some of the best passing uh concepts in, in the game there so that is a little bit about iform close and how to defend it thanks for watching this video if you want to get the full ebook it does help support me as a creator it's just 15 bucks i think it will add a lot of value to your defense it will really help you in my opinion so if you haven't picked it up yet it's available in the description and then if you want to get that free sample literally all you have to do is just send me a text message and i'll shoot you a link to the to the uh, playlist there so you can check that out thanks for watching and we'll see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time